Hi, Tony here. I just wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of mods that I've made to the R10 quadcopter. First one being this uh, rear mounted battery meter, which uh, is quite handy because this thing chews through the battery pretty fast. Uh, this just connects in through the uh, balance port right here. And I made a uh, harness for it out of shrink wrap that. I wanted to attach the frame, but it ended up being a little short, so I'll probably redo it. Anyway, then I double taped, double stick taped uh, this to the back, so when it's flying, uh, you can bring it close enough to you that uh, the numbers are big enough that you can get a good read on the battery voltage. Um, if it falls down to about, I can't remember, 9, 9.8 or 6, two horns up here go crazy. It's definitely time to land. Uh, any further and you damage the lipo battery so it's uh, 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 well worth the, the ten dollars uh, to protect your uh, expensive lipo batteries ten dollars on Amazon I'll see if I can find it and put a link uh, down below then off that same harness which is just the little JST connectors I got this at uh, Hobby King I got uh, some 12 volt LED strips and I just uh, here tack this one to the bottom of the camera mount, and uh, you know you can see that once that's up in the air, I'll put white ones up in the front to form a Y, uh, help with orientation. And then one of my first crashes, I busted one of the pneumatic dampers in the legs. Uh, so what I did is I found some old Wi-Fi antennas, I cut them to the length of this and I remove the damper, the shock absorber footing and then put a little electrical tape up here and then slid these in and uh, it turns out they make perfect little plastic legs. They don't absorb any shock but then the other ones you know when they absorb shock just broke anyway so yeah so that's it's a couple of mods that I've done so far uh, we'll talk about camera mounting and uh, mounting of the hypo and some other things later but there you go